Is it recording? Yes. Hey guys, it's Cara back at it. <laughs> Almost half of the year. We are in a bar called St. Bernard's, St. Bernard's Bar. And outfits are really not appropriate for the vibe. I can't my show. I can't show you. <laughs> um, I did. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm gonna buy the cheapest one because I'm broke. And um, here's Harriet. There's, there's Heather. Oh, Like and subscribe. What's going on? I really don't like being in the camera. It looks like I've got really bad contact. <laughs> oh, this was a different one. I think it's a Jubilee. Can we please get, we're going to share. Poobie's trial. Mm, it's a little special, sorry. The melancholy and infinite happiness. And then a Fugle Sprint. This is very <laughs> Infinite happiness. <laughs> We are the first that's not Large. Large. <laughs> if we can't, that would be cute. Huh? If we can. I know. What are you getting? Me and Hope are getting the whatever is the infinite happiness and the Hugo Spritz. What is it? A cocktail. Yeah. Put the camera down. Yeah. By the way, Happy New Year from Australia. Lucy Fraser. Really missing you, and Lucy Fraser, the Alex boy, is ugly. So I think nothing else. Jessica and Sarah are right. missing you. Too. Shout Nina out! Musa. Wait, stop, stop. Nina stop. Musa. I need to go from the beginning. Right, shout out to Lucy Fraser, Nina, he Sarah, <laughs> Jessica, Jamie, Jamie oh. Ellie Hood, Darcy, Annabelle, Ellie Hood. Ha in Australia. And Lucy, I miss you so much. <laughs> oh, I made it blurry. That's all right. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, can I bring it? Oh, you like that? Oh, I forgot to charge the camera battery. Maybe not for the three years, but I like it. I think this, we're getting very different vibes tonight, and I like that. So going against my one aim, if you want to say aim, <laughs> today um, I can't keep track of anything, I can't stick to anything, but Carol is just so good, could not, I'm loving it, it's been on my watch list for ages and then I saw it on Netflix, so it's now almost two. She just mentioned the head of cobbler. Why did I say that when I knew that was it? I'm watching May December and Natalie Portman just said head of cobbler. That's a play I want to watch so badly. If I have to pay £10 to watch it, I just got really well set. 
so I'm gonna just have to, which is so bad. Anyway, what I was saying, I'm watching May December now. I finished Carol. Carol was amazing. I really loved it. I didn't cry. I suppose most people say it was like super emotional. It was really good, but hmm. I did really like it. Give it four and a half stars. <sighs> Rooney Mara is making me want a fringe. But I did really like it. Not on my Oscar list, but May December is. So I feel like I'm doing something good for that. I do have a list in my um, notebook as well. Of just like tons of movies I want to see. And both of them are on there. So I feel like I'm doing a service to that. Only 52 minutes through. But it is really good. I didn't really know this, what the story was about at all. But it's really interesting. I like watching things where I have no idea what the plot is at all. So, I'm enjoying. Just gonna catch you up a wee bit. Um, I don't even know what day it is now. It is the 22nd of January. I've had a rough start to the year. No point sugarcoating. Um, I literally didn't get out of bed for the first week. <sighs> I've only really seen a couple of people this month so far and now there's like no one here. Everyone that I was pals with that was also doing a gap year apart from my wee baby Belle literally everybody is away so hoping I either plan something to do I think I'm going to try and go away somewhere not for long because I don't think I can handle that I don't think I can even handle going myself but I'm going to try and do something do something with my dad we had a lot of fun last year in New York so that was a relatively similar circumstance kind of trip as well everything's just really boring at the moment the literal only thing I've like actually had an aim to do and been doing for the past what 22 days I've watched so many movies I think I'm at 21 one now and to be fair that's because I'm like I'm picturing my logged on letterboxd but one of those logged is actually a limited series and I've discovered my new favourite director sorry Sophia Coppola but I am just so obsessed currently with Yorgos any Yorgos Lanthimos film oh. I watched Poor Things like three times before it even came out and it was like like, I was in love with it. I've watched it even more times since. Um, I stayed up and watched the Golden Globes, cried when Emma won, Yorgos' speech was amazing. I just loved that film so much. So I've been watching a few of his other ones. I've seen The Killing of the Sacred Deer. I've also seen The Favourite. I loved The Favourite. And I've started Alps, but that one is in Greek, so I was enjoying it but I got really tired the other night and like couldn't keep my eyes open. Sometimes as well I like to play Candy Crush while I watch my movies and I couldn't do that because I need to just read the subtitles. I've been trying to journal a lot recently as well. I'm not very good at it. I don't do it very often but every couple of days when I remember I just, not in any like particularly deep sense but I find it also just like nice that I can look back on it. It's not and the thing special it's not like I'm confessing like deep dark everything but like I'm even just I don't know doodling a bit writing what songs I've been listening to I've got like a checklist of my movies I've been doing some like drawing sticking stuff in just kind of like it's like what I always tried to do with a wee diary when I was in like primary seven it's like the most random shit I've wrote quite a lot. The only thing I wrote today though that's like 
actually worthwhile. It's just uh, I love an Emma Stone. Would not be able to tell by looking at me given I am literally in a strapless top. Well, no, you know what I mean, to forget a strap top, but it's freezing. I'm just about to wrap myself up there in my daily blankets with all that ball. But my throat also really hurts, so I'm gonna have peppermint tea. And my mum's milk because I really like it, so I'm stealing it. And she'd get mad if I put coffee in it, peppermint tea is fine. If I can find it, that's fine. It looks so like organic. Like you look like you find that in Whole Foods. Wait, the bags look so nice. Sorry, that's so. I don't know why I'm obsessed with a peppermint tea bag, but like, it looks really cute. Most I go up to. Um, looks. The dog's also in my room barking. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Daniels, what what day of the week is it? When's Traitor's back on? Oh, it's still got like a day. But yeah, I won't be able to watch. Oh, I won't even be able to watch it barely this week. Who do you want to win? Um, <laughs> Loki, you might kill me. <laughs> Loki Harry. Oh no. <laughs> I like, like, it's like he's got this far. <sighs> I had to correct it very quickly because didn't know what's room on the other side and also had to make sure the wing mirror is cleared. Mm -hmm. I don't agree, but I understand that that's your sense. Just having both colours probably was not a good difference. 